Hey everybody, today I want to share a little trick with you to instantly sharpen your renderings in D5 Render. Just look at how blurry this is, and look how sharp this is, and I'm super zoomed in. Look at that. So this is after, and this is before. You can see, look at all the little details here. Look at the grass, look at the roof, right? You see how we kind of lose a lot of all this detail? It looks a little blurry. So I'm going to show you how to fix that in D5 this blurriness is driving you nuts. I've had a bunch of people ask me, well, what's going on? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop over to D5. I'm gonna go over to my image mode, my photo mode, and you may have never noticed this, but right down here, there's some little gray text. It says D5 SR is on. This stands for super resolution. This actually is like NVIDIA tech. What it does is it super samples an image using AI. So why would you use this? What's the point of this? Well, look at all of our preset sizes. We've got 2K, 4K, 6K, 8K, 16K, right? So you're working on a project and you know it's gonna be like a giant post there, right? You might wanna do 8K or 16K, but you're not gonna wait three hours for the rendering to come out, right? So what this does is it actually renders out a lower resolution image and then it upsamples it with AI. And what that means is in a fraction of the time, you can get a high resolution image, but you're sacrificing a little bit of quality. As you can see, you know, in our example here, let me zoom in one more time. And details start to get a little weird. So I know it's super blurry, right? But bear with me. Things, because it's an AI process, begin to distort. You see that? See how the bumper is all messed up? Look at that. Anyways, this is going to use that AI process. So if you see that and you're noticing your renderings are looking a little weird, it's because of this AI process, right? So the benefit, let's just talk numbers, right? I ran a test, the, the images I showed you just now. When I had SR on, right? It took 53 seconds to render at 4K, right? With it off, it took a minute 31, okay? So we're talking about almost double the time, you know, 40 seconds. It kind of adds up if you're doing 10 renderings, you know, that's 40 seconds per, it can add up. But anyways, let me show you how to turn it off in case you want to do your own test or you just want that raw natural 4K quality. Go over to menu, preference, and all you're gonna do is go to widget right here, and you're gonna wanna scroll down to D5 SR image rendering beta. I uncheck that and that goes away. And that's it. That's literally all you have to do. And that will instantly sharpen your images. If it doesn't bother you that much, keep it on there. Your renderings are going to come out much faster. But if you're dealing with, you know, larger size images and like you don't want anything to be distorted and you don't care about the time, let's say you render and then you go off to lunch or you go to sleep, whatever, take a nap, um, turn it off. Um, it's not like the most offensive thing, right? It's just all those little details start to get a little, little weird. And just like the general blur, right? It's almost like there's a Gaussian blur over everything. So, and again, I know I'm super close up, but it does make a difference. You know, just look at the overall sharpness. Look at that. You can see, you can see the crispness here. So easy way to add that crispness to your renderings. Anyways, that's it for this. Hope you enjoy this quick tip. As always, if you've got a question on this, leave a comment. And if you enjoy this content and you've made it this far, please subscribe to the channel.